Yeah. What are some things to do in Wyoming? One, go to Yellowstone. Two, leave. Come back to Monster for All. <laughs> If you don't know what Monster Prom is, because I am now legally by contract meant to explain it in every episode, Monster Dating Sim, we're going to the Monster Prom. I'm still Sophia. I'm Selena, I think. I'm pretty confident in that, actually. Even given the last Today? episode, you might be two helicopters. You know, I really considered it as my identity, but I think I'm back to being Selena. <laughs> helicopters was fun, though. Like, I helicopters can't argue was with that. fun. And Alessia, are you still coffee lover 777? I finished my coffee, so now I'm... Mm. Just lover 777? Just lover 777. I'm just 777. Just 777. Okay. <laughs> Actually, what's a cooler number than 777? 888. You know what? Oh, okay. We're just gonna stick with 7, okay? She is 7 today. Literally, you, you think of a number of two, one to ten, first number people usually gravitate towards seven. Yeah. So I would have said five. I'm going to be the number seven today. Seven's the epitome of random, and I think that's Alessia today. Exactly. Yeah. Before we begin, I would like to ask, what are y'all's favorite numbers? Seven. Ooh. I've always okay. been a big fan of four. Okay. I um, like the number four. Usually four. My favorite old. number is 95, so. What Why? a is dork. Okay? Imagine yeah. liking a two digit number. That's been Wait, my favorite number the since, like. Hold up, hold up. Is that, that age you plan to die? Is that the age you oh, plan to die? Oh, that's the age I am mentally, mentally right, right now. now. I plan on dying at 30, but you know. <laughs> I mean, I missed my mark 10 years ago, so. What? I hit my midlife crisis, a little, you know, a while ago, so. <laughs> I mean, my number was seven. I hit that ten years ago, you know? So, where did you ah, want yes. to go today? And hopefully not the, the mm. cemetery. Um, I would like to go to the bathrooms. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, You've been holding it in for like two weeks, here. Selena. Yeah. So it's an issue, eh? Yeah. Wait, that day you visit the bathroom to take a number two. Well, it's it's been two for weeks. weeks. Yeah. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before oh, using it. No. Oh, God. Ooh. It's a shame, I feel. Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one Stephalophagus. Oh, wait. Stephalophagus. Steph I don't Steph remember. Steph I know how to pronounce this. I, I know how to you. pronounce this. I believe in you. Staph. Staphy locus. Staph wait, is it like Staphy locus? Staphy locus? <laughs> Staffy <laughs> with a with a, with a slight chance of plus one STD. Oh no! It's almost time for football practice, but you see Scott with oh. his uniform on, looking sadder than you've ever seen him. <sighs> oh, that's also me now. I just can't yeah. believe it, bro. Coach kicked me off the team. It it's not <gasps> fair. Oh. How was I supposed to know about the new coca iron powder? Can this <laughs> the <laughs> new coca iron power drink contains cocaine? <laughs> but rules are rules, and apparently doing a bunch of cocaine is against those rules. <laughs> what am I going to do, bro? Sports is my life. A life without sports is like a life without life. Please, bro, help me figure out a way to get back on the team. You'd love to help. help. The only question is how? Oh no! Spike the punch with coke on prom night. If the whole team's on coke, coach will have to let you all play. All we've got to do is convince coach that cocaine is a good thing. A little hands-on demonstration wouldn't hurt. Nah, spike the punch. I like how the first option is like if everyone's on coke but no one is. Exactly. First one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a great idea! It's just like Coach always says! A real team does everything together. Running, throwing, even pooping. 
Bring your mutual cane okay. together too. It'll be a real bonding experience. And then Colt will see how committed I am to the team, and he'll have to let me play. My favorite thing about this plan is that there's nothing illegal or unethical about it. You're gonna have to find no, some no, cocaine, no. though. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. In fact, you're pretty sure you saw someone selling some somewhere. You gain plus two creative creativity and plus one fun. Wait, well, what are my stats? I'm like hella creative. Your stats? Uh, I was about to say I'm hella creative. Uh, these ones, no? These ones. Orange ones? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. All right. Where do I want to go? I'm really fun. Where haven't we been? We've been everywhere. We've been everywhere. Uh. I outdoors. That day during recess, you start a half hour raid that goes full crazy. At one point, wait, one we have the small, recess. We have recess. We've had two I recesses have already. I don't remember having them. Short term memory loss. <laughs> You're kidding. One point, one of the small magical Latino cat slips on a banana field. You start to laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray! That's so rude! I... I'm sorry, Juan. Uh, you're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, baby, let's party. Fuck you. No! You such a formal miss, miss? Yeah, you track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because hey, I need some help job. brainstorming. Hey, what are you doing? What's you're job? not Polly. Good you're job not coming Polly. for your job. Poser. Wow. You like wow. take it away, bitch. I'm actually. I'm disappointed in you. No, I'm sorry, Mitch. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be lame, and that needs to change. Am I also buying cocaine? The costume party. I hope you know, so. Where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going as a sexy tax attorney, Phoenix Wright. Objection! I don't think he's a tax attorney. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lameitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas, and they're the spiciest. It's like I the punch with mandrake upset. root. It turns monsters into actual humans. Okay, so you go as a sexy tax attorney, and I'll go as a sexy tax invader. <laughs> oh my god. No. What? Part of me really wants to tell her to spike the punch with mandrake root. That way, it has mandrake root and cocaine. But like, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna be the spiked punch. There's gonna be any punch left. Everyone's gonna have to snort it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just gonna be a sludge. Let's do. Uh, that's a really tempting offer, but I don't know if I have money to buy mandrake. If that's, like, the case scenario, you know? I don't even know if I have enough money for cocaine. Cocaine's kind of expensive. Cocaine's kind uh, of cocaine. expensive. Coca yeah, but no, it's According cocaine to this powder. Game, a lot of people love cocaine. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm gonna go with a sexy tax evader. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't. Later that's that so night. Rude. What? Tax evader. Molly cracks her standard issue tax attorney whip. Holy shit. Punchball. You stand accused of violating Article 69 of the Tax Penal Code. <laughs> the fine is 1000 human dollars. I hope she actually hopes it, like, wants you to pay it. Pay oh, never mind. Spank. You're more than happy to do the time for your delinquency. The rest <laughs> of the party goers get into the spirit and super hot and passing time. Holy shit. What the hell? I'm you so good. You never I, felt so good. You, you gained plus my two girl. fun and plus one charm. You are Scott. Then what are you in after Polly? Like we accidentally hey. swapped. You know what? Let's yeah. go to the library. Wanna go to the library? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Pentacles? What? What? That day, I want to spend time on the library's PCs, spending malicious spam emails, or sending a malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It's a very common theme. It doesn't the sound very nice. But who is really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? It's on them, really. Yeah. yeah. You lose That's 10 okay. karma, which isn't a stat in this game. So who cares? You gain plus two money. Sick. I'm not gonna lie, I saw the minus 10 and I got really scared. I know, me too. You're happily examining the shitty crayon drawing you got, got from the, from the store, store, thinking about what kind of frame will enhance its childish colors and stupid composition when Scott approaches you. Hey Mitch, is that a picture? I love pictures. Coach says, one know. picture is worth a thousand words. I've heard so many words I love, like pizza and good and boy. The so picture must be even better. What's your picture saying, bro? It looks a little- it looks like a little stick person holding hands with two big stick persons, and also there's a house and the sun has hair. <laughs> you patiently explain to Scott that this is a picture of a family, and that those are solar rays, not hair. Oh, so those big bros are protecting the little bro! I get it! What? No, you tell Scott that the two big stick figures are parents. Parents? Is Scott an orphan? Oh, no! Oh. oh, so that's what parents look like. I totally have some parents, but... Well, I've never actually seen them. That's a him problem, bud. That is a him problem, but you know what? That's okay, Vol. Once a year, we sneak into our house and in the middle of the night, they leave me Christmas presents. Because I'm a good boy, oh, and they no. love me. Fuck you. Oh. I want Damien. Where's Damien? He's completely reversed it. Instead of, like, ah, you baby. You still think no. parents leave Christmas presents in the middle of the night? That's a myth. It... it is? Yeah. Everybody knows that all Christmas gifts are delivered by Satan Claus. A bearded home invader with lobster hands and a cookie fetish. Oh no. But but my parents think I'm a good boy. Oh no. Oh who is she? Her? I don't know who she is. <laughs> okay. But I need to give her like a sassy voice. Yeah, you um, need to give her a sassy sink voice. Psst Mitch! Are you just gonna stand there and let those douchebags ruin Scott's innocence? Distract him! Whoa, you know this is a serious situation. So if it's causing Vera to show up empathy or to show empathy, quick, divert Scott's attention by Oh wow. Starting a discussion on the history and development of jazz as a musical art form. Or making a silly face. <laughs> I think making a silly face would work. I don't know. That, Scott's that's a good. simple guy. You want that one? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to pursue him, so it doesn't matter what I do <laughs> here. But don't pursue Scott. Don't pursue yeah, Scott. Yeah, no, making a silly face, sure. Look, Scott, it's time you face the truth about your parents. They're... Wait! No. Look at that funny face Mitch is me. And it worked. God, this is a really serious holy shit. The that face is wait. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god. How is she even doing that? I can do it too. You just gotta go like. Uh... <laughs> Woof, I can't do it. My face is not strong enough. I'm gonna have to hit the gym and do some chin-ups and facelift. It's a good thing we weren't talking about anything oh, no. important. Otherwise, I'd feel bad about leaving like this. <laughs> Later, pals. Wait, where's the QR code? My iPad's at 5 per Well, it says it's at 1%, but then it said it was a- oh, Scan Q- No, no, no. Scan, scan, scan QR code. Okay, 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 okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Okay, 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 scan it, scan it fast. Okay, okay, this is problematic. This is problematic. Please don't die. 
Are you trying to- Yes, log me in. Yes, log me in. Start talking. You're in. Yeah. Phew. That was close. Nice work, Mitch. Wow, wow, wow. Chicka, wow. wow. And as for you, Wolfpack, how are you thinking? <laughs> Sorry, I guess emotionally harassing our little cousin is our way of coping with our unstable home life. No. But you've got to admit, it's weird that Scott's been living with us and our grandma his whole life and still hasn't realized our parents aren't coming back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he just call him his cousin and then say our parents? Maybe like all of their parents left and now we're all living with grandma. Oh, so it's, why would just the grandma? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I can relate to that. And maybe it would be better for him to accept the truth. Huh? You're the one who told me not to tell him. <laughs> I just don't think he's ready yet. Because he's stupid? You're right. Thanks for helping to keep the lie alive, Mitch. You're a true hero. Hell a true yeah. Oh. <laughs> for your good deed and your incredible facial flexibility, you gain plus two creativity and plus one charm. Hell yeah. Maybe I'm that coming weekend, home. Something happened to... You were having a quiet evening with a coconut and totally not human flesh flavored smoothie when Polly <laughs> phases in. Oh, no. Wow. What's up, Alina? You planning on coming to my death day party? Mm. Eh, you know it, baby. Bye -bye. <laughs> I'm gonna have all kinds of reminders of the way I died. Oh, yikes. Oh, no, nice. it's totally not. Quicksand, it's... alligators, and all the food will be poisoned, of course. <laughs> Did I die? That's a good question. That's... I don't know. I feel like Polly just keeps being like, yeah, this is how I died. Wait, that's how I died. Yeah, I died like that. It changes each time. <laughs> she doesn't remember. I'm trying anything oh. at this point, just pulling straws. You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm really into the idea of sharing my afterlife with a fellow ghost, you know? Ooh, ooh. Hey. Think of all the cute ghost dates we can go on. Going to haunted houses and Halloween and actually haunting them. Walking through walls to get where we want to go. Appearing in turns to reveal perspective and truth to gritty old <laughs> misers who don't appreciate the holiday? Oh, that's for life. You know, all that classic ghost stuff. Oh, of course, Polly, I totally know, you know? I also kind of wouldn't hate dating Fee. Oh! No, what do you think her, her death, death day thing. party will be? Stupid! Don't! Yeah. Don't or help me, God! Like, will she become a ghost soon-ish? Super patient, but I do think she parties down and could party even further down as a ghost. No, Polly, no. Uh, see, that reckless bastard eats gluten. Gluten, I tell you, she'll be dead by noon, probably. Oh my Bee's God. gonna be around a long time, trust me. She already has a place reserved in a retirement community and has taken up bingo and become an expert knitter. Game over. I mean, game not over. Not for a long time. She's gonna die an old, old monster. I, I picked that one. You want her? No. You gotta go for the second option. Yeah, of course. I'm picking the second option. I'm ruining Fee's chance into Polly. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Alina? Home record. I no. will kill you. No. You. Hey, as someone that knits, oh, no. I love knitting. Yeah. She's going to be around forever. Oh, why did she Sitting around, getting wrinkly and slow and boring, and not even wanting to twerk anymore? I'm having an existential that? crisis. I could never. Old people are the worst. No way I can wait that long for her to become a ghost. She's going to come murder you. Well, oh. I guess I have... <laughs> yes! Yes! 
or I oh. guess get her killed. Oh. Ah. Damn. Usually when you mess with your friends' love lives for the lols, you just cock block them. <laughs> you might end up getting someone killed this time. Eh, cool. You gain oh plus one God. boldness for maybe inciting a murder. See, all I gotta say is watch your back. Let's trade places. Player orders decided based on how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse start to being now. Excuse me, but I have all the life skills. I mean, I think we've already established that I'm going to be the last to die and it's going to be old in retirement home and now Polly doesn't want to go to prom with me eventually, you know? Hey, so you're actually... Die, wait, you're... so the person who dies first will be the first part of the year? Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, I'm I'm last because I have all the skills, so I'll go third place happily with the amount of skills I have, okay? Mitch, I feel like I said could probably live a apocalypse longer than I could, that's the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mitchell, we're in the Revengers together. Realistically, yeah, we'll be at the same page. Are. Oh my god, that's true. We've discussed the apocalypse, okay? We'll technically be at the same pace, but... Oh god, we said we get rid of all the weaker people by putting peanut gas in the vents. Peanut yeah, gas exactly. and peanut butter. peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put peanut, peanut butter in the air vents. Yeah, well, we gotta turn it into the gas by putting it in the air vents. Literally, anybody, so the gas with, allergies, anybody with allergies, dead. First. Yeah, we can't take that. If you're not willing to eat some like peanuts that you found in a bush, like I'm sorry. Listen, we've been having oh discussion since grade nine. Okay. I told Elisa she can't live during the apocalypse. She's lactose intolerant, and I'm sorry. That's no, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. We can't have picky eaters on our team. <laughs> yeah, picky eaters because you they eat your broccoli, broccoli guys. I'm sorry. You gotta be allergic to something cool, like me. Fire. So, he goes first, I go second, and Selena goes third. What's your order? Yeah, because I'm surviving. What's your order? Yeah, Selena and I have a full, or foolproof plan, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, Mitch first, I'm second, or third? No, I'm uh, second. Isn't it most- wait, is it from earliest to die first, or is it the- uh, uh, Most the likely to die first. Dead. Yeah. Yeah, on how early you would die during a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, so Sophia, you're dying first. Mitchell's next, and I'm third because I have the Revengers to protect me. Oh, first, second, no, third. No, and I'm part of the Revengers. Yeah, yeah so exactly. first, I'm second, she's third. My band there of survivors, and I'm sorry, Sophia, but you might not have made the final cut. Guys, I'm dead. I'm single. Mm. Prom is going terribly. No. Nah, I don't know. She seems pretty keen on killing you so you can come with her. Dog, if Polly kills me so I can go to Ghost Prom with her, you know what? That's a win. And I think this is where we leave for the next episode. Yeah. 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 All right. So, toodaloo, and hopefully, I won't be dead by the next one. I hope you are dead. Oh, no.